Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. As you probably saw in one of my last videos, the update manager kept popping up and uh, yeah, kept bombarding me with update notifications. If you don't like this behavior, I will show you in this screencast how you can change the configuration of the update manager or how you can disable it completely. So first of all, what we want to do is go to the menu, go to um, System Tools, hit Synaptic Package Manager here. Yeah, I have to give it my password, of course. Then what we want to do is go to Settings, Repositories. And here we have the option to set not only our server, but also set the updates. And here we can set uh, the update server. Normally the Netty Security and the Netty Updates uh, server are checked. If you want to use or test pre-released updates, you can check uh, the Netty Proposed. And if you want unsupported updates like backports from some applications and so on, you can also check the unsupported updates Netty Backports. And the one this is really important for us in this case is check for updates. You can set it to daily, every two days, weekly, or every or every two weeks. Uh, I want to disable this one here because I want to manually check for updates. And uh, what I also can check is only notify about available updates or I can also check if I only want to install security updates automatically install security updates without confirmation or download all updates in the background so that it will then uh, ask you if you want to install the back uh, the updates and you have to click OK or deny it uh, accept it or deny it and then you go you're ready to go, so it does not need to download uh, the updates. This is very handy uh, if you are uh, traveling with your notebook or netbook, and you, if you're at home, you have a connection running, and the update manager checks for updates. It will automatically download in the background all the updates, and if you are then uh, on the train or something like this, you can install the updates uh, without an internet connection, without downloading the whole packages with with the uh, 3G network if you have some available. So this is the one here and you can disable check uh, for updates uh, um, completely. What you can also do if you uncheck this, this will um, yeah, this will not um, this will simply not kick out the update manager configuration from the auto start. So if you don't want to have any notifications for updates, you want to manually check your updates, uncheck this and close it, close Synaptic, and then you have to go to your preferences and um, desktop session settings. And here you can check uh, or uncheck automatically started applications. And here you can uncheck the update notifier because this is the little application that uh, gives you the notifications of available updates. And it's still running. Even if you don't check for updates, it is still running. And the interesting thing in here is that if you uncheck even that it automatically checks for updates, if you manually check for updates and then close the update manager, it will keep bombarding you with uh, update notifications. So if you don't like this, then just simp simply disable it. Um, click on OK, and yeah, that's basically it. So you have completely disabled the update manager, and if you want to make an update on your own, you just hit Alt F2 and type in update manager. Press Enter, and you can do a manually check for new applications or new packages and of course you need to enter your password and then you can just click on install updates and all the updates will be installed. So I hope you enjoyed this screencast and thanks for watching.